Floss Tube, I'm Nicole and this is Dee Dee's Floss Tube number 21. Okay, so welcome back to the channel everybody. Thank you so much for joining me and if you're new here, just a little bit about our channel. We are a multi-craft channel and we cover lots of things, everything from quilting and what we're here for today is a cross-stitch chat. So basically what I'm going to show you is what I've been working on, what my plans are for the next week and all that sort of stuff. So um, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and then that way you won't miss out on our floss tube every week. I can't believe we are at 21 already and for those that are joining me again this week, welcome back. Thank you. I really do appreciate you uh, showing up every week and, and uh, leaving us comments and all the rest of it. As you can see, Beck is still not back. Still school holidays here in Australia, so I just cover that shift when it's school holidays um, so we can keep up to date with and you can keep up to date with everything that's going on. Uh, we've had a fairly ordinary week this week, just, you know, trying to get everything sorted to start back to work um, in February. Technically, I'm still on holiday, so I'm not quilting or anything like that at the moment. So I'm um, just doing a, a little bit of tidying up, a little bit of sorting out um, throughout the studio, getting ready for a, a massive year ahead. Um, you would have noticed if you follow me on social media over on Facebook, you would have noticed that I was sharing all our retreats and everything because we do uh, some of those and this year sees us for the first time doing a cross stitch retreat. Um, we're very excited about that. May can't come quick enough. I know that a few of the lovelies that watch us are coming along for that and um, they're very excited as well. We've been chit chatting about it and people are happily stitching at home. So if you're interested about that, we'll leave a link down underneath the um, video and you can click on that and head over to our Facebook. Um, group or alternatively just contact me on Instagram I can give you all the um, information over there as well um, and you can find me under Devon Lee Design Studio over on Instagram all right so uh, not much in the life department has been happening as I said I'm just trying to organize the studio and get everything ready for um, starting it back in February which is only a couple of weeks away now we're gearing up for the kids to get ready to go back to school yay I get my house back um, I mean I love having them home it makes it nice and easy for me but you know the house gets a little bit trashed they're not known for their cleaning skills so <laughs> um the week that they go back which is on the 28th I just spend that week getting everything back and organized and that's my final preparation for the year so yeah they're very excited they've gone and got all their school stuff already we've got a couple more uniforms to go and then we will be ready to go for the new year little M's already back at daycare so that's very exciting for her she was missing her friends for the two weeks that she had off so she's back and, and back into her routine, which is good, which gets me into routine. So that's, that's always um, a good thing. Otherwise, we sit around and waste a lot of our time while I stitch. But the other, the other sort of waste a little bit of their time watching TV and whatnot. Alrighty. So I will get straight into our stitchy talk. I have to be pretty quick today because we have people turning up today to switch the power off. And I want to get this uploaded before they do that. So um, they're changing our meter box over. So it's going to be a quick one today so I won't keep you too long but exciting news I've had another finish so that's two for 2020 so so far so good I'm, I'm meeting my goal and it is a, a cute little piece you would have seen this um, last week I would have shown you that I worked on it it's the um, lovely you by Plum Street Samplers it's the first time that I've actually used um, any sort of silk or anything like that I think it's come up really nice I added the date and my initials down the bottom and the stitches from this actually went for School of Magical Stitches and it was for C Cinderella's Castle and a total of 1427 stitches went into it but this now is being sat into my pile for a fully finish and as I said I'm going to turn this into a little um, cushion for in my room I've got a bowl coming it's a, a nice bamboo bowl um, that is coming from overseas and I'm going to put all like um, anything to do with love or partnership or marriage or anything like that will go into it so all little smalls will go into it onto my dressing table so that's where that's going so I'm super excited that's been written down on my completion list and I'm really 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 trying to get something finished every week I don't I mean there's obviously going to be some weeks throughout the year where I don't so um, 
because they're bigger pieces or whatever the case may be but yeah i'm pretty excited that's two that i've got done so yay all right so we're going to move on into the whips now that i've worked on this week i've worked on quite a few this week um I would have remembered last week i was talking about my um new starts and everything that january and february was going to be a lot of new starts um, just so I've got a few different things to pick from a lot of them are small charts and a lot of them are free charts and all they've come from magazines so this week for homework in School of Magical Stitches and for those that are new I actually joined School of Magical Stitches this year and they have it's like a challenge group and they have homework extra credit um, year-long stitching things and all that sort of stuff but if you want to know anything about that the link is down below and you can head over and um, see what it's all about and um, some of the people that like that are doing it um, Tia from Calm Crea Creations she's doing it so you can watch her and see what um, she's working on and I'm also doing it so each week I'll be talking about what I've done um, in that group uh, it's the main focus group that I'm in like it's my main focus this year I'm also in 24 hours of cross stitch so sometimes the things double up for some of their cross sticks or the um, holiday calendar and stuff like that so just helping me to stay on track and um, keep up to uh, up to speed and getting things finished and it's working so far so I'm not getting distracted by stuff that I want to start I've got a list of the things that I, I at the beginning of the year that I wanted to do and I've written them all down and then I just work them into a calendar or a challenge so that's uh, a little rundown of what that is um, so those that have already been here a couple of times, you'd know that I um, have already had a few starts. Um, and this one is no exception. This is another new start. Now, this is for homework and it was using, uh, the prompt was stitch something using black 310 from DMC. And um, it's, I had to put 200 stitches into it. So I went hunting for something and I um, had some fabric here that came in a little pack of, I think they're nine inches by 10 inches, 28 count um, from Sew It All Australia. I'll leave a link down below. And they just got different sorts of um, even weaving them like different colors and everything like this. Um, so I went, I picked out one that I wanted to work on, which was this gorgeous little one here. It's called Happy Haunting. And I'll just, um, it's a free chart from Plum Street, uh, samplers yep palm street samplers and it's um sorry it's hair's happy haunting so that's the chart there and it had a lot of black in it um so i used my own colors out of it from my week's dye works and also um dmc and i put 201 stitches in it and i got the little the first little witch and i started working on the I guess the mama um, witch and it's on this I don't know if the camera's actually picking that up but it's on a purple and it's got little stars all through it so they're flying through the night sky and I thought that that was perfect for that so now what I want to do is I want to keep that at the top of my whip pile and I'm going to um, put in some stitches every day into that and hopefully get that finished in the next week or two it actually is quite deceiving it's got a lot of stitches in that that little one like there's a moon in there and it might be able to be used for other um, homework and all the rest of it but there's a little picture down the bottom of what it actually looks like and um, yeah so I'm going to try and get that finished and, and um, ready to go for Halloween like it's not an absolute mission to get it finished but um, I'd like to sort of get it out of the whip pile because it is only small um, so yeah so I got the 201 stitches in that so I was pretty happy with that and then um, on Thursday of last week, that was Wednesday of last week for Witchy Wednesday as well. That fits into my rotations. And then Thursday last week, I thought I'd work on some extra credit. And um, after I'd gone through all the homework, I knew what I was going to be working on. So I set that all down in, in plan and, that, and then I decided to work on some extra credit. So this um, month I'm using the Mandala Elephant for It's a Small World. Um, ride and that's extra credit and I've got to get 300 stitches into this so I made a new that was a new start as well last week so I made a start on that and um, I worked on that twice during the week I just put a few stitches in here and there so and that's what I've got done so far the colors in this are going to be absolutely amazing the light is just not picking them up but I'm just using um, CXC thread uh, the coordinate the matching colors uh, for DMC so you can see I'm jumping around a bit and 
because I'm still relatively new to cross stitch and that was upside down so I'll try that again um, so that's better because <laughs> um, I'm relatively new to cross stitch um, like I'm finishing them off I'm not actually got jump threads or anything like that but because there's so many color changes but there's little bits of blue and different colors specked around in this it's not really confetti but um, yeah so you can see there I've sort of just marked it with a friction pen just to make sure that I'm, I'm counting right and I started normally I start up in the left hand corner but I actually started in the center in this one mainly just because of the shape of it um, I just didn't want to take the risk like I could have on the chart this starts right in the center at the top of the chart but I sort of didn't want to take the risk of mucking it up so I started in the center in hindsight I probably would start it at the top next time like if I was to stitch it again I would start at the top because it has made it quite tricky because there's so many color changes just in the center here um but yeah whereas up the top I could have stayed with a uh, like done all the pink and and all the rest of it there's quite a, a large amount up there but I've only got uh, 40 stitches to go uh, no sorry 70 stitches to go into that and then that'll be done for extra credit for January so for that, those that don't know what extra credit is my understanding is that um, you match your um, projects to the prompts and then you've got the month and there's a cutoff date when you've got to have it in um, then you've got the month to do it so I just sort of picking one each week and I'm doing that for extra credit so I've got one more to do and then my extra credit is done all right so then friday rolled around and i had some more homework from school of magical stitches and this one i was super pumped about because i could actually use it for two prompts so it meant that i was going to get a ton of stitches into this um and it is uh the prompts were uh an object with human characteristics and a firehouse so i thought about this for a couple of days and then i ended up asking um because i wasn't sure whether it was actually meeting the criteria or not but um because every time i thought firehouse i don't know why i just kept thinking dalmatian and um i'd seen these in the um cross stitch crazy magazine last september and i set them aside to to start this year i think it was september yeah se september last year and um this is the the chart that i started working so for animal char um, character i mean human characteristics and object i picked the dalmatian because he had a hat on and i also picked the dalmatian because every time i thought of firehouse a dalmatian come to mind cliche yes i know but um <laughs> it, it worked really well and i mean it's a cute chart to boot so um i started on that and i i got a fair bit done i got uh, 434 stitches so that was 200 for each one and I've almost got the top of the hat done I've still got a few more stitches to put in there but it's been put into my rotation now and hopefully I'll be able to use it a couple more times um, there was no black in this believe it or not there is actually no black in this it's all greys that it uses in there even on the Dalmatian it's not a, a stark um, black and I'm just using 14 count Ada for this it did call for 14 count I think uh, yeah 14 count Ada so um, that's what it called for so that's what I used and I'm just using the CXC uh, threads I've just recently got them and I really like them they're so soft and the coverage is really good um, they're, they seem to be just slightly thicker than a DMC thread but they actually color match really well to the um, DMC so I'll leave a link down below where you can get them from from the, the shop that I got them from um, really well priced as well I've got all the colors um, which I think is 447 uh, for just under $60 so it's it's a really good price um, for us here in Australia so yeah um, but I'm really happy with that it's gonna look I've it's got a ton of back stitching in it all around the hat it's got to be back stitched and I'm just going to do it as I go I didn't end up getting any into it um, this week because I just wanted to um, get a few things organized and stuff like that so I only spent a couple of hours each day stitching all right so that was that one uh, Saturday I worked on the lovely you and got that out of the way and then Sunday rolled around um, last week I was talking about my heaven and earth designs or Hade as a lot of us call them um 
And I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, whether I was going to work on it every day or whether I was just going to pick a day to stitch on it. I tried to get to it every single day last week and um, I just didn't seem to get to it in the morning for some reason for whatever reason I was getting caught up with family stuff or the phone was ringing and I just wasn't getting that half an hour to an hour into it each morning so I decided that rather than have that stressing on my mind and you know I've got to do it I've got to do it I've got to do it and turning it into not very enjoying because I'm stressing about it I decided that I'm just going to do it on Sundays because Sundays I have all day where I don't plan anything I don't go anywhere I like my family just to take a chill day um, sometimes we might go out or something like that um, but very rarely it's usually a day where we just lounge around at home because we're so busy all year and my husband's super busy through the, throughout the week with his towing business like most days he doesn't get home until 8:30, 9 o'clock at night um, 7 30 is probably the earliest sometimes he gets home rarely is he home in daylight hours because a lot of people get toes done after work and stuff so that's sort of when he's his busiest um so sunday rolls around and he tries to take the day off so i don't plan anything so he can rest so i basically do everything that i have to do during the week and come sunday i've got a really good chunk of time generally you know i'm up until 10 10 30 on a sunday night um, sometimes I might go early so if I'm up early hours of the morning on um, Sunday morning I can get a good 10 hours in so after sitting down and thinking how my week plays out and how that stitching um, every day was going to make it sort of an issue and not enjoyable I decided that's it I'm just going to um, do it on a Sunday and I'm going to alternate because I've got two heaven and earth designs going at the moment and I'm going to, so, to alternate between Autumn Queen and Hubble Bubble. So on Sunday rolled around and I worked on Autumn Queen. And um, it was a lot less stressful. I just got up and I knew that that's what I was working on and that's what I played with all day. Now, I don't sit down and just sit there for 10 hours stitching. I do other things, you know, get up, do lunch, dinner, all that sort of stuff. Um, Sunday was a pretty casual day. Brennan was home. Mia was running in and out playing. Um, we sat down and had a picnic and stuff like that. Um, but then Brendan decided that they were going over to Toowoomba to get the school stuff. So then it was just Mia and I here. So they left. Um, that was early hours. They, they left about 10 o'clock, um, 10.30. Went and done what they had to do to get school stuff because everybody was home. No one had any other plans. And um, so Mia and I hung here, we had picnic and we did all that sort of stuff. So I didn't get as many stitches as I would have liked to for the week. Um, had I stitched every day and done 100 stitches, it would have been 700. But I still come close, I've got 516. And I filled in, and I'll just put a picture here of what it looks like, because I don't have a cover picture um, handy. And um, you can see here, I filled in some brown, like you can't really see, it's really dark brown, like a really dark coffee brown. And I went down a little bit and I've come across here and this is all black up here um, so I've still got probably come down to about here of black and then there's still more black to go over here and then there's a ton of black down here because it's the border um, right on the edge and it's all black and dark brown so there's not, not going to be much color for a little while but still that's really good progress and you might notice that it's not in the Q snap like it was last week I cannot hold those Q snaps at all <laughs> <laughs> that small or large or oblong or anything like that I just can't hold them I'm just so uncoordinated with them and it's not enjoyable so I'm just going to use a little small hoop because um, there's so much fabric on that so it just makes it a little bit easier I'm just going to use a small hoop and I mean that's a lot of stitching here for full coverage before I'm going to have to move it so <laughs> but if only you could be a fly on the wall and see me trying to hold these key, the key snaps it's unbelievable so um, I'm going to pass them off to Beck because she um, she might like to use them, see how she goes with them. Um, I mean, I'm not going to completely, I, I just I cannot hold them. I know that there's um, Lowry stands out there that they sit in and I still haven't tried that yet, but that's a lot of expense to fork out for uh, a stand that I may or may not use. So um, I just think with the hoop, I just, 
I just find it a little bit easier. Um, and I, with the, the full coverage, I'm definitely going to use a hoop. But with all my smaller pieces and stuff like that, I just do it in hand. But, like, seriously, even, like, I just, I can feel myself not being able to hold it properly and I just I don't know where they sit my hands and then because they're a little bit thicker as well I just feel like um my hand is straining and I want to do this for a long time so I don't want to get like a repetitive strain injury or something like that from holding the Q-snaps but <laughs> I so wish you guys were here to see it it's just hilarious like and I laugh every time I'm using uh you like I've got a small one and that's okay but my hand does actually get sore while using it so I'm probably going to um take that out as well and only just yeah maybe use it sparingly maybe like for traveling in the car or something like that it might be a bit easier to to use I don't know but anyway it's just super funny like I just giggle at myself trying to trying to do it and like if anybody was watching me they'd be just sitting there shaking their head because it was just yeah <laughs> it's just really funny Alrighty, oh, you've got to laugh at yourself when you're a bit unco, really. And then Tuesday rolled, uh, sorry, Monday rolled around, and um, I decided to um, work on. Oh, then it was my homework I had to to work on, so I didn't work on it on Monday. I must have worked that on Sunday as well, because I didn't do. I only done a couple of stitches on um, Monday, so um. I worked on this one was for something that stretches you or takes you out of your comfort zone so basically I worked on like people are gonna think why would you put this as something that stretches you I worked on the quilters cottage um, and the reason that I picked this one this particular one was because I have changed a lot in it well I, I've, I've basically taken the alphabet out and I've put my business name in there and I didn't have graph paper so I had to eyeball it basically so I sort of drew it out and tried to get it even just using my friction pen because I knew that I was going to stitch over it and I can just iron it off um, and it's just taken this has taken me so long to do it's unbelievable so um, I got I ended up putting 300 stitches in and I did all the white on this little quilt down here So these little quilts are quite deceiving. There's over 700 stitches in these um, little quilts and so With everything that I have done to this and I've had to add a few stitches in here and there To balance it out. I've still got to work on the fence because my business name isn't quite um, even so I've got to add a little bit of fence and add a little bit of um, so you can see where I've sort of balanced it out. I've got to add a little bit more uh, grass up here just to bring it out a little bit. And that should balance it up pretty good. But I definitely, this has stretched me to my limit because I have never done anything like that before. And um, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, is it perfect? No. Um, but I don't care because it's the first time I've ever done something like this. And once it's in the frame or... I've actually um, been talking to Tia and I've got a little bit, we've got a little bit of an idea, excuse me, of what we're going to do with it. Instead of it going just in the frame, I'm actually going to turn it into a mini quilt and have blocks around the outside. So this will become the center part of it. But yeah, so I worked on that little bit down there. Not a great deal. Still 300 stitches is better nothing to sneeze at. Um, and I just put the, the binding on, just started to do that and then called it a day on that one. So yeah, they're all started. That's still almost done. Like I've only got one and a half quilt and a few little fix ups and that's, that'll be done. So I'm hoping that that will actually be done by the end of the month. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it'll definitely be done by the middle of February. Definitely. Most definitely. So that was, um, I used that for homework as well. So that meant that I got all my homework done and handed in on time. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, and that's pretty much all I have worked on this week. So I've got a fair few stitches in. I didn't do a tally of what I've done, but I've got anywhere from 200 plus stitches in a day. Um, the biggest days that I had was Saturday and um, Sunday. So over 500 stitches on both of those days, which was good, which meant that I got that finished for Lovely You. And now I can put that into my FFO box and get that done. Um, so yeah, that, that is basically what I got done all week. And then I have been getting parcels, like a lot of stuff that I ordered at the end of last year 
Um, some were back in October last year that I ordered and they were um, things coming from overseas that we were waiting on. So I've had parcels coming every week, <laughs> every day last week. Every day the postman come, come in with a smaller parcel. Uh, there's some stuff that I got but I can't show you because that's for our retreat. Um, and I'll show you closer to the retreat. But um, yeah, so I've had all that sort of stuff coming in. And I've also had some stitchy stuff coming in. So I've got a, a tote bag here with everything. And I've just been dropping it in as it comes. And as you know, I am a part of the um, Fat Quarter Club, the Chalkful Club that I joined. These were late. For some reason, these got held up. One came on Monday and then the other one came on Thursday, I think it was. No, no one came on Monday this week and yeah, one came Thursday last week. So um, I finally got my Christmas one. That finally came in. So I was happy about that that turned up and then this week my snowy one turned up so the winter one so now i've got those both both those shows. i actually thought that this one was lost and i was about to send a um message to to fat quarter shop but like i'm happy that i'm in the club but realistically they both look christmasy to me like i don't know maybe it's different for you guys over in the us but you can see that and then that's the christmas one I think I've got that right. That's what I've got. They look, they sort of look similar to me, but they're, they're there. And um, I also had Snow Village come in as well, which is exciting. So that's another little chart that I've got there. So this is all from a club that I joined. That was all with the Fat Quarter Shop. And I'll leave all the links down below if you want to go and suss them out a little bit closer. Uh, the other thing that came in was, um, and I've separated it since it's come in, but... Um, into the numbers and all the rest of it was the CXC thread so I've got all of those <laughs> there's two big Ziploc bags of those that came in um, and I've just been slowly so I've got all the colours that I need for all my charts and everything so they came in um, and as I said they are pretty close like I've, I've got a couple of pictures and I'll put a picture up here of, of a green that I pulled out that I needed and you can see how close it is to the DMC and also the so these are called CXCs and then I held a DMC and the CXC beside it and um, it's like they're so close in colour so pretty much I'm not buying DMC anymore I'm just buying this and um, it works out so much cheaper for um, us here in Australia because even when they go on sale they're still over a dollar um, whereas these work out I think I worked it out to about uh, 20 cents a skein or something it works out to be so I'm wrapped to use that for my cross stitching I'm not putting it in shows or anything like that that there, there's nothing wrong with them they're absolutely beautiful they don't knot as much as I've had problems with the DMC even when like you're bobbinating and stuff like that um, they're really soft to touch really soft to touch and, and they're beautiful to work with I've worked with them um, on the steampunk um, animals and also on the elephant and they're absolutely beautiful so and now I'm just basically using them for all of um, my charts um, not even gonna bother my haids um they're all going to still be in DMC because I've started them in DMC and because they with some of the colors they're pretty much on par but some might be just slightly lighter I'm just gonna stick with the DMCs and then I ordered these Oh, this would have been back in October, I think, maybe. I don't know. Um, Shell Trails on Instagram enabled me to get these. She sent me a message and said, did you see these? These were mystery boxes and all the rest from Sparkles. Um, and they're over in the UK. Um, and they were the winter mystery box and the Christmas um, mystery box. So um, I opted to get 32 count for these these ones. Um, so this is the Christmas one and these only came in um, last week so and they come packaged up so this is how they come all packaged up it's got Merry Christmas on it and um, it just opens up in a box so this is sort of like a little bit of an unboxing I've, I have looked at them and it gives you all the um, projects are in their own envelope and then it tells you what is in your box and what you get um, That's the winter one. So as I said, I have opened them because I, I've been waiting for so long. I just had to open them. So yeah, it tells you what you've got. 
Um, so the the charts that are in here um, are from during during Jones, and I'm sorry if I butchered that, and Ange Delgat Calvert. Del Age Calvert, sorry. I'm terrible with names. I really should not say names. Um, so, yeah, and then they just come in these, um, and they come with some extras and all the rest of it for, like, finishing and stuff like that. So, um, it came with a couple of needle minders. Uh, super cute they've got little ornaments on them so they came with that it came with the ribbons to finish the ornament it came with the uh, a batting to finish the ornament and it also came with all the instructions and all of the christmas beads for it as well so that's the extras that i got in that um, is there anything else in there no i just love the purple envelopes <laughs> they're gorgeous And then you've got two, the two projects. So this one here, sorry about all the rustling. So as I said, I picked um, 32 count and it's an opalescent. So that's the fabric that it came with. And that's the floss and the wooden, um, and they've got little, so they're, they're actually wooden um, and they come with the white. And this is the Doreen Jones. So that's the charts that are in there. And so I can make those into little ornaments. So you've got everything. There's four cross stitch patterns in that one. So that's pretty cool. And then I'll get rid of this box. And then this is the other one from, this is a Scandinavian Christmas by Ange. Calvert. I'm just going to go with her last name. So again, that came with I, I picked Iopalescent because it was Christmas and that's not really picking up the glitter. Uh, it came with the floss and that is the design there. That's the pattern. So none of these patterns I've seen before. Um, I've just come across the other um, one, but um, Scandinavian Christmas, that's, that's cute. So that'll look really nice and that's going to be all in white. So that's that one and then I got the because I got the Christmas and the winter because I couldn't decide um, this is the winter one so again it's good it comes in a box it's got a little snowflake on there outside all really well presented each envelope's got a little snowflake on it um, and basically again I picked 32 count um, opalescent so this one is a little pin cushion I guess you could have it as so that's very super cute and that's by Thistles and that's the fabric that I decided to get it's like a really pale blue and then they're the colors that will go on it so that's that one and this one came with um, some finishing stuff as well so it came with a little needle minder, which is super cute. And then it came with all the ribbons that I need. And, oh, can I get them? And it came with a couple of snowflake buttons as well. And some fabric to finish off the little pin cushion. I assume that that's what it's for. And then this one. This one again is from, this is a Little House Needlework Snow White and it's just little houses and it's just uh, monochromatic in white and it came with this blue fabric here and that. So they all came in, so they are going to actually um, try and work them into the rotation this year as well and actually use them for the ornament sale that um, Michelle McGraw's got going on and um, for 2020 so I'm going to try and get some of those done I've already got a lot of Christmas stuff as well so um, yeah so that's what came through from Sparkles and I was pretty happy with it for everything I got I really liked it it was a nice little surprise I forgot about it for a little while and then 
Um, Michelle sent me a message on Instagram and said they should be coming. They said that they got shipped and then I went looking and there was the email because I missed the email. And um, yeah, and then they turned up. So I was like, yay, Christmas after the fact. <laughs> All right. And then the next thing that came in, uh, like, in late last year, I joined um, Silks For You, their uh, Floss of the Month Club. And um, I, think it was, I think it was Floss of the Month or it might be color of the month or something I can't remember what I joined now but anyway this came in yesterday and I opened it up and I'm just like oh my god I just love them look at those colors oh they're just so beautiful and they're so soft like even if I just never use them and I just pat them every now and again <laughs> they become my pets <laughs> so yeah so I've got a beautiful that blue one is just gorgeous that would look absolutely stunning um on a Quaker piece I reckon and that purple is even really nice too. It's like a lavender sort of color. The, it's just not doing it. It's maybe back here. Yeah, so, and the variegated are just absolutely beautiful. So they came in, so they'll get um, set away in their container, but they're absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not sure, I might find a, a nice project to do them on and see how I go and just, um, yeah. I do have a couple more. Um, I've got some Hanks coming. Um, that I ordered the other day they're absolutely gorgeous and they are set down for the linens and thread um, linen and thread sale that they've got going on this year and also last year so yeah so they come in and I uh, when I opened it I was just like oh my god they're so beautiful I just love them <laughs> so I'm looking forward to see what I get next month so that's pretty excited and because I had all the threads come in I ordered a little bobinator that came with some bobbins um, because you know 447 colors to put on bobbins i'm going to be there for a while so i wanted to make my life a little bit easier but that is all i got this week um i as i said i am waiting on some more silk to come and i'm waiting on a couple of other things that i ordered late last year um i've got a couple of charts that are coming in as well so they're just on back order and i'm waiting for them to come in i think um one might have come in already because i've seen an email just um a little while ago but that is about all I've got um, in the way of haul and stitching, but I have, I don't know where I have been in the last couple of months, but I've started watching um, Floss Tube again. Um, I had a little bit of a break last week and just only watched my normal regulars, but I went hunting for some new people this week. And honestly, I don't know where I've been. I must have been under a rock for the last six months, eight months. On that, I come across um, Carla from Rolodex St Stitches. Um, and I'm like, I even said that. I don't know where I've been. Obviously, I've been under a rock. She is absolutely a hoot to watch. I just love how she's um, uprooted her family and gone to Japan. And she's over there. She doesn't really speak the language. And um, it's just really interesting to see how she's fitting in. And she's showing little snippets of the things that they're doing there. And she's obviously showing us all her stitching. And she's got some amazing pieces. And she's just really fun to watch. I think I'm up to video six. Um, now, so I'm binge watching her now and I'll hopefully I'll get to watch her again tonight and get another video in. Um, but yeah, I'm just loving watching what she's working on. And, um, she had this big container, um, that she puts all her floss, um, bobbins in and I'm like, I have to have them in my life. So I've got to order them, uh, next week so they can come because I've got to get them off of Amazon. So I've got to, um, make sure that I've got the conversion and everything right and all the right money because i just use a separate account for online um spendings and stuff like that so yeah i go and then i'll be able to put all my um cxc into that and then i'll have it all in one place and not in ziploc bags like i've got it so yeah she's about the only person that i've watched this week of course i've been um watching tia she's been putting up some videos and and we've been chit chatting and all that sort of stuff and i've been watching my regulars so carla from um, Carla Bean Crafty and Erin from Two Martini Stitches and I'm still watching videos from way back when for Country Stitches as well um, so I just try to watch a little bit each day and it's really good it's a little bit dangerous for your hip pocket though if you see something that you like but I'm trying not to um, I'm trying just to work for with what I've got here obviously I've got to buy fabric and stuff like that because I don't have a big fabric stash but I am starting to find the pieces that I really, really like working on. And um, and that's sort of just what I'm focusing on. I don't generally stitch on um, real bright colors or anything like that. So 
the stuff that came from Sparkles, are, some of them are a little bit different than what I would normally stitch on, but I am going to stitch on them because that's what's come with the kit. And there's no point having them sitting in my cupboard doing nothing, so I might as well just use them. But that is about it for me today. I, as I said, this was just going to be a quick video today, giving you a rundown of what I'm working on. Hopefully Beck will be back in the first week of um, February. Depends when the Wednesday falls. Might be the second week. Um, but yeah, we'll get back to our normal programming of the both of us here and we can see what she's worked on over the holidays, if worked on any, because she's had a you know been away with her kids and stuff like that so yeah that is it for me today so have a great week everybody and happy stitching and i'll see you all again next time bye for now <laughs>